Hello friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna learn about data downloading, backtesting, and hyperopt. And the link for this article you can find in the description below. So you can easily copy and paste the commands in your terminal. Okay, so let's start with the first data downloading. What happens in this? In this, as I already explained that the parameters in the command line will take the precedence over the config file and the strategy file. So let's say, I run this command here. So we can see that uh, it is downloading data. And here, when you go and see that it is taking the exchange by bit, which we have mentioned in the config file. Okay. And in the time frames, it is taking from the command line. Means if we don't mention that, it will take from the strategy by default. Okay. Even the time range, it is taking from the command line. Right. So whatever we don't mention, it will take from the config file or the strategy file. Okay. So let's go to the another example. In this, what we will do instead of time range, we will mention the days. So it will download the data for last 30 days and the time frame will be four hours. Okay. So let's copy and paste this command here and uh, hit enter. So we'll wait for a few seconds and then you can see the data has been downloaded. And where does this data go? So so now we are in the directory user data. So let's go to data. And here you can see that we have a directory named by bit. It was automatically created when we download data. And then when we go in this here, you can see there are multiple files. So this is the latest file which we downloaded now, right? Which contains the data. Okay. Okay. Now let's move to the back testing. So same uh, goes for the back testing. Whatever we mentioned in the command line, it will take the precedence. Otherwise it will by default take the data from the config file or the strategy file. Okay. So let's copy and paste this command. So what we are doing here, we are using the default file that is config.json file and strategy we are using here machete v8b. I will even mention the link for the strategies where I downloaded these strategies. So here, if I don't mention the strategy here, so it will take from the uh, Docker compose file. Okay, let me show you. So So here is the Docker compose file, right? So here you can see that I have mentioned the strategy machete. If I don't mention the command line, it will by default take this strategy. And if I don't mention the config here, it will definitely take from this uh, Docker compose file. Okay. So then I uh, copy and paste this command here and wait for a few seconds. So here it used the strategy machete and time range it's using like for one month. Okay. So when I maximize this command, you can see here that we had the amount 1000 usd in our wallet and it reduced to 981 because we had the loss of approximate 6.26 percent and in we had what, total 20 wins and 13 losses and drawdown was 36.058 so it is just for the demo purpose so don't take it seriously okay now we go to the second example in this also we can use the another file for the back testing. So as you can see here that we have two files here. One is config.json and another is new config.json, right? So if I want to use the new one, I can mention here the a path of the file, the new config file. Okay. And rest remains same. So when I run this command back testing command with the new config file, so it will take the data from the new config file and here you can also see because both the files are same so results are also same okay so and then we come to the hyperopt part so what happens in the hyperopt so when we use the hyperopt we mention here epoch epoch means like if we mention 10 so it will use these things and it will give us the best parameters and in the 10 times, right? If you mention here 1000, so it will like hit and try the different kind of parameters, the spaces like which ROI should be there, where should be the stop loss, 
where should be the trailing loss right so it will like hit and file at uh, various different methods and it will give us the perfect where we can get the maximum profit okay so i'm running with this 10 so what it will do it will take the strategy sample strategy and it will give us the best parameters then we can add those parameters in our sample strategy file okay so let's run that okay it says that it was by mistake this extra w i, I will remove that okay so it says impossible to load strategy this class doesn't exist means this strategy file is not there when we check the this that we have only one strategy so what i can do i have two options one is to move that sample search strategy file to here another is to change the strategy so for now i'll just change the strategy here and i will use the machete v 8 b just for the demo of purpose it will take like few minutes and it will give us the results here we will wait for a few seconds it depends on the how much epoch we have used in the command like if i use 10 minutes it will take less time even i can use 1000 10000 1 lakh depends on your system performance so it found that i have five cpu cores so it will give huge load on your system so now you can see that in the first I have profit of 38.15% and second I have 43.50% profit okay so yeah so it in the 8 epoch it gave us the results these are the parameters we can use in the machete okay the buy parameters and the sell parameters so what we will do we will just replace these parameters in the other in our strategy file and even we can use our new config file so what you can just do we can replace this config with the new config file so for now this is it and the next video i'll explain how to access the web ui and how to do the live trade okay so till then bye bye take care have a nice day